Uh, I did a short video of this, and I, I don't know if it's going to take. See if we can get down there. Might be a pain in the ass to get back up. Something definitely comes crashing through here. side. There's no possible way I, could, I can get up that. I don't even want to go too far <clears throat> down this side. Because I won't be able to get back up. I'm going to try and make my way back up this. There were, there were either trees here or big rocks here. They're not, they're not there. So while that might not look like much, even just that from being down there, I had to I had to lean into the hill, come back up, and actually go into a little bit of a sprint. Sales to offer. We're still in the beginning of this side. Uh... 
You got a teepee right there. It's a teepee. Huge bin. People say this to me all the time that oh that tree fell down and pulled that pulled that healthy pine. But it didn't not every time. Not every time. Yeah, there'd be no there's no way for me to get over there. That's a perfectly comfortable spot for them to sit. It looks like those looks like those rock faces have openings to them. Who knows what's up on the other side of that hill either. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but I don't know if you could see how many of those go through each other to form that teepee. There's so many, so many sticks laid, laid into each other. Looks like there's a gap. It's definitely a game trail there though. So I'm sure deer shoot the gap pretty easily. I, I highly doubt I can. Gorge opens up again. See these trees are just ripped out of the ground, just totally ripped out. Well, I don't know what.
Eric asked a question. Good question. I hope he doesn't mind because it was on, on a personal level. But so why aren't you zooming? When they're right off trail, he said, "I know." He says, "I think you could see them." Some cases, yes, he's right. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing quite a bit, but yes, he was. In the occasion he was talking about, he was absolutely correct. Um, when they get close like that, and we're filming, I'll kind of see how it goes. That's on. That's on trail. That's on trail way back where we just started. Basically on trail. I gotta go back that way. It's crazy because there's only so much, there's only so much, and so far you could see. Even with the brush being. It's not full spring yet where where everything's got its leaves yet. But. There's a burn ban in effect, I believe it's called. I don't really know what kind of difference that makes. But I'd imagine there's more wood laying around because people don't come to get it. Because they can't burn it. That's a cool looking... <laughs> I don't usually stop for structures like this, but that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can even see the entirety of it. Looks like it might be a, like an entrance right there, at the base of that tree. Something small, obviously. You got, you got rock clips going right up to it, slated rock. And then the tree looks like it gets a good amount of water. Be a nice fail. Could be something more regular too. Raccoon possum. Yeah. 
So up here, I'm bound. I'm kind of bound to the trail, guys. I can only go up so far. Um, that's another reasoning. I'm seeing things that I want to go to, but I have to. Uh, I can't let myself get turned around like I did the other day. Um, when I had to leave that waterfall, uh, it was just there was nobody left. It was just me and that flashlight. And I got on the phone, and that was it. We walked our way out. It was up. It was literally an up. It wasn't even an uphill battle. It was an up mountain battle. I was. I was. I was sweating, struggling. Um, a few other things occurred during that time frame. You guys saw the walk-in. You saw the, uh, the video prior to, so you saw the walk-in. And how far it was. I mean, and I actually stopped and went on that video. I, I paused a couple of times. So there was time in between. warm up a bit. We were supposed to get hit with a big storm. But it might have passed. Just like that. But that's just how the mountains go. Sometimes it rolls on through. Maybe we were just seeing something's like something's been laying here. What is this? I've just been deer laying in here. It's pretty meta down. This is pretty rugged in here, and th this one's not as bad as some of the ones I've been on, but there's been. I see mountain bikers. They got those, they got the ones with the, they got, I mean, their tires are like, probably double the size of what I'm doing here. It's ridiculous. I've seen them, they, they, the, the low levels, they, they, they start out around like two grand for those bikes. So I was like, oh, it'd be cool if I can get a. One of those cool ass mountain bikes these guys got. Jeez, get it. It's lucky enough to get gas to get here. I'm not buying a 2000 old mountain bike. But God bless him. It's a healthy hobby. Looks like fun. Sure, sure as hell does. This is
I'm the type of person that drags my foot when I step. And, uh, yeah, here, Mr. B, go. I kind of end up kicking all these rocks all the time. Far this goes, <laughs> no idea. I know if we walk, if we walk that way, if I walk that way, about another eight miles, seven, somewhere between seven, give or take, seven and ten, we'd hit the Zena Tribe area. But you'd have to be able to walk straight straight through <laughs> and then actually I'm lying it's not straight through it would be at a it would be at an angle because if you went straight through you'd have to hang it right and go a few more miles I don't know why I thought I lined up with it perfectly Opens up a bit back here. Some breeze coming through again. I keep checking back to see if whatever that was that we saw, like, remember in the beginning when I, or whatever, I am not for it, I suppose, but when we look back at the beginning of the trail. I keep trying to look back and see if there's any points where I could see where there would be an opening or anything where they could they could be following us or they could be staring at us, depending on how many there were. I don't know. I could only catch that one that was kind of glimpsing them. And it was showing about half body, which maybe even more, which it might not have looked like on camera, hopefully it does, but again these look like tombstones to me. Like these, these I know they're just rocks, but the way they're laid up sometimes they look like tombstones. It's wild. Like that. See this this is gonna be a straight through and there's something dark at the back. What is it? Could be, could be. So in the pretty near future, I'm going to start taking pictures, and um, I get a higher resolution when I take a picture. I get a better zoom when I get a picture. Uh, when I'm videoing, something just dropped away, but I don't think it was a rock toss because it sounded like Only reason I think I'm thinking otherwise maybe is because because there's a huge tree snap at the top, but something definitely was, but it sounded like it might have came from the top. So I'm thinking it's just an acorn, something like that.
Very interesting. Trying to get you guys both sides of the trail, obviously. Sorry if I'm swinging it back and forth, but my head's kind of on a swivel in itself. So. It's like I always say, if you don't like the shit, just change the channel. But for those of you who do hang out, I appreciate you. You know that. And I know this sounds like, for, for a lot of you, this is repetitive. For a lot of you, it's not. But it, it's amazing to me that the world is at your fingertips in this day and age. The whole entire world, www or whatever the fuck, however many I just said. But the World Wide Web is at your fingertips. And you choose to log into YouTube and then click on LIB on Long Island Bigfoot. And then you chose from there to watch this video and take this walk with me. And I want you to know that I don't take that lightly. I think that's pretty fucking awesome. For the rest of you, change your fucking channel if you don't like it. Look at this thing. Somebody's gonna tell me this tree bent itself. And what the shit? That's a train horn, obviously, but from where? I don't know. But once again, I don't know where the hell I am. I have not. Look how open up this guy. And then again, up there, look out, look at, look at the shadows. Look at how they could just sit right in there. You'd never know it. If you aren't looking for it. I see, like, what's been cool, <laughs> what's been really cool is I've been meeting a lot of, I'm meeting a lot of people that are, um, having experiences and sightings and, I gotta get up the courage to ask a couple more, and Sarah's gonna help me out with that. And yeah, it's gonna be cool. Looks like some little people action. So when I just seen something kind of sidestep out and sidestep back into it behind a tree, but it was small. Definitely wasn't wasn't bigger than two feet, I'll tell you that much. I mean I can I'm I'm standing up high and what and that's down the valley, but Guys, I don't know. I see a trail. Look at the way that tree is split. Split and slammed right into there. I don't know. That's a whole pine tree coming at it. You just can't, you can't see it from this angle. It comes in. Scream. Two screams, high pitched. Sound like train whistles almost. Could be, but it's not. Came from two different directions. I'm over 
where this trail goes. Really don't. It looks like there might be a trail down there, and then another one. There might be one that winds up into there, but I got a long ways back that way to go too. So if this keeps winding me up, winding, I'm, I don't, I don't mean winding up. I mean winding up, like winding up. If there's no loop to it, which I don't think there is, then uh, I don't really know where I'm gonna end up. So I gotta be kind of cautious about how how deep I go in. It's times like this you kind of hope you bump into somebody who's kind of local, but. It's really clean looking. Get the break on that tree, huh? And that one. And where'd they even come from? Not over here. Oh, I think this video is over. Alright.